everybody and welcome to the NASCAR Cup Series Firekeepers Casino 400 from Michigan. We start this race from 22nd in our number 60, Troy Lyons Ford Mustang in lap 1. Corey Himes already rounding into the wall. We had sent it too deep in turn 1, got into the side of Corey Himes. He loses control, crashes hard into the wall, but we stay green. No caution here at Michigan. And then as we progress here in lap two, we get inside the 14 of Chase Briscoe and into Redick in the wall. We're bouncing sideways into the 14 into us. And now we're spinning up the racetrack here at Michigan hard in the outside wall. After contact from the eight of Tyler Redick and 14 of Chase Briscoe, which is another mistake as we did a little bit of a looser setup for this race. So it's just a little bit too loose and we lost control and crashed hard here on lap two. We're going to have to drop to the rear to get heavy repairs. Down lap eight. Has is gonna get loose. Round goes to 16 of Grala. He loses control, spins and up the track into Ty Gibbs, and he's crashing hard into the wall. Haley Deegan also involved. A huge hit down the front stretch for Ty Gibbs off of the 16 of Kaz Grala. Big hits all around. You know, look, at, look at it here. We just went through the corner. Did the tiniest little tap to Grala when we were clearing him, and then he spins off a Custer right up into Ty Gibbs, who takes a huge hit in the outside wall, sends Haley Deegan down the racetrack. Now we're on to lap number 12 here at Michigan. We're trying to get by the 41 of Daniel Suarez, as well as the 5 of Kyle Larson. We go on the bottom here into fourth slide up the racetrack here into the corner and we're gonna make some contact with Kyle Larson he's gonna get loose Larson up into the wall and we have to go down the track to avoid Larson and uh, I see this is the theme of the day myself and Kyle Larson making contact with each other as right there we just got him a little bit too high up the racetrack I had to avoid him, but we do take the sixth position. And now, coming out of turn four on lap 13, Larson pulls right on trying to pass us, but he's going to give us a huge shove down the back stretch, and I mean a massive shove. Larson's going to try to shove us faster than we can go here into turn one and two. And it works as we get a little bit loose on the bottom line, but we slide up in front of the five of Kyle Larson here on the exit of two to try to keep the position. Larson actually hit the wall there behind us. On that 14, you can see the 5 right on our bumper and in the corner. He gives us a bump, a little bit of contact, gets us a little loose there, and he crosses us over on the bottom as Larson sends us higher on the racetrack with that big shove. And I, was, I didn't appreciate that too much, that move from Kyle Larson. And so I kept that in the mental notebook for later. And we f that was right there, the end of Stage 1. So we finished 7th in Stage 1. Harrison Burton was the opening stage. Now we are on to lap 18 here at Michigan. Tyler Reddick goes sideways behind us. He's going to make an incredible save as we move into 8th. Now the 47 of Gregson lead. We're right behind the 5 of Kyle Larson. The man, and then we're just going to just shove him off into the corner here to show our displeasure from that move he pulled us at the end of stage 1. You know, we just full throttle it. You know, give, give him a little bump there and make him loose sideways. Cost him a spot or two as we move into 7th. You know, it's a little, well, I'm not completely wrecking him, you know, just letting him know, you know, I didn't appreciate that. And uh, now he's carrying on with the race, trying to move forwards. He's trying to catch the 10, Ryan Priest, who's running ahead of us in the 6th position. Oh, Larson once again, he's going to give us a big shove here out of 2 down the backstretch here on lap 19. Once again, Larson... Shoving us down the back stretch aggressively here at Michigan. He sends us in underneath the tent of Ryan Priest, who we somehow go right by without crashing. Moving to six, and then Larson is going to go right by us here at Michigan and take six away. So once again, Larson moves us out of the way by completely shoving us out of the way into turn three and four. So at this point, I'm kind of frustrated, Kyle or somewhere. Okay, two, two times, that might be two strikes. So I was very frustrated with Kyle Larson at this moment. So my goal now is to hunt him down and uh, teach him a lesson and as well get the lead also. Larson now moves past John Harnimacek into the fifth position as he's flying through this field as we try to keep up with him. Now into the corner we dive on the bottom to try to get a run here on John Hunter Nemechek to try to take the sixth position away. On the exit of 
four. We will be side by side with Nima checking to take the advantage, but Cole Custer is going to give us a big shove and move us into sixth here on lap one. As Larson now has moved into fourth, going around the 41 of Daniel Suarez and puts a move there from Kyle Larson. And now Cole Custer goes underneath us, and Custer will take six away. We throw a huge block on John Hunter Nemechek right there, nearly wrecking ourselves in the process. As then we fall back in behind the 29 of Custer. Now we clear Cole Custer. Whoa, and he, he gives us big shots. We're loose sideways getting into the side of Cole, I mean Daniel Suarez for the fifth position here. Making some contact, heading to turn one and two. As you can see ahead, Kyle Larson, Noel Gregson, Harrison Burton, and William Byron in the lead pack. We're trying to get up there here as we are now into fifth as we get by the 41 of Suarez. Larson now trying to make a move on William Byron for third. I mean, actually, Noel Gregson for third as Gregson's the one dropping back here. As we try to catch up to these guys and get in this battle for the lead. Now we move on to lap three. We are right behind William Byron and Noah Gregson getting some drafts to give us a shot here down the back just to make the move as Kyle Larson at the same time is going for the lead on the 20 of Harrison Burton as we try to go for third. And on the bottom here, we're going to take fourth from Byron easily on exit of the corner. Now we're going to be side by side with Gregson down the back stretch and we'll clear him for third. And now target acquired. Kyle Larson right in front of us in the corner. We set it in Kyle Larson. We just completely wreck Kyle Larson. And we get into the wall as well, but we completely destroy Kyle Larson as revenge for earlier. As like I said, I didn't appreciate the way you were shoving us earlier. So, you know, I gave him a piece of my mind right here in the corner and completely wrecked Kyle Larson. Completely just absolutely destroyed him. Struck revenge on the five and wrecked him hard. We may have been involved, but we didn't get terrible a terrible amount of damage. So I think we're pretty good. Larson, on the other hand, he's going to have some heavy damage to repair. So there we just junk him, clean him out. Burton goes through the race lead after that. As we just completely destroyed the five of Kyle Larson. Here's another angle of it here. See in the corner, we send it in and just get into the and spin him. He goes in the wall. We go sideways here. And we both crash hard. And that gives Harrison Burton the lead. We get a couple angles of this wreck here. That was just a blatant dump, blatant dumping of Kyle Larson right there. Deservedly so. And so we'll see if he's able to continue and catch it, catch up to us later in the race and give it a part two of this, or part three of this tempers flaring between myself and Kyle Larson here at Machine. I'm going to lap six. We're going to make a bottom dive here to go into the lead underneath Harrison Burton and Noah Gregson. We're just now going to go a little bit further back here in the replay. We made an aggressive dive. Here, see down the back stretch, we had so much momentum. We were just charging forwards and moving our way all the way up from 6th to 1st in the corner. I mean, we really, really sent it in here on Harrison Burton and Noah Gregson being super aggressive. We made a little bit of contact with the machine in the corner, but he made it through. Uh, he, he was able to save it. He just lost some position. Right there. As you can see, he got sideways behind us, but he held on to it. And now it's a side-by-side -side race for the lead. Myself, Noah Gregson with Christopher Bell and Daniel Suarez right behind. A little bit of contact there. Gregson leads that lap. On the 24 to go in this race. We're banging doors into the corner. A little bit of contact right there. And Gregson's going to get loose up the track. The 41 sideways as well. They all stay it behind us. And now the 45 of Christopher Bell is into the lead here on lap number 27. And Priest is going to give us a huge shove into turn three. And then we send it trying to pass Christopher Bell. We make contact. Absolutely Doraman behind us. He is going to lose control. And the 45 is going to go around. Bell spins. And he overcracks it hard into the outside wall. And here's another angle of what's about to happen here to the 45 of Bell. To begin him, he loses control, overcracks it with a huge direct angle hit into the outside wall, head on, gets a huge hit, and then throws him upside down in the air. The 45 of Christopher Bell flying through the air here in Michigan, upside down, on top, is still flipping. Uh, what, 
180 degree angle and Legao sends him tumbling down the grass here in the infield and Bell comes to almost a stop completely destroyed after one of the wildest slips we have seen here in the Heat 5 career mode as he uses control after our ill-advised move and he just gets launched by the 14 directly in the air and uh, launched by Creed and Blaine off of Logano just goes tumbling through the grass in a huge flip here glad the 45 of Christopher Bell is okay after that vicious crash here he gets launched up in the air and the 45 2011 racing Toyota and just gets completely flipped and flipped until he tumbles here into the hymn field and somehow able to continue in this race after that vicious slip. But here's another angle of the direct head on hit in the outside wall and him just getting launched by Chase Briscoe. And a little up in the air, boom. And he just goes tumbling for a wild ride. One of the, maybe one of the first flips that I have remember seeing here at Michigan. And now on lap 28. Here, Daniel Suarez is running six. We made a little bit of contact with Ryan Priest trying to take third away. We made kind of Carson Host of our last lap of stage two here. Harrison Burton has a stage win in the bag easily here. So Harrison Burton is going to sweep the stages here at uh, Michigan. But we're going to get another angle of this kind of here in the next corner. We make kind of Host of our fence him, slow him down, and then block Suarez aggressively so much that he goes into the wall right there. Now into three and four. We get another angle of Priest. We made a little bit of counting in the corner and he gets completely so we check up to avoid slamming the Priest and we successfully avoid hitting Priest and continue on. And now down the back stretch, of course, we made that contact with Carson Hosevar. We sent him up the track into the wall and blocked Daniel Suarez aggressively, who's about to fly right by us. And Jones for three, so we have more contact. We do a huge block on Eric Jones right there. And in the side of Swords in the corner, he's sideways. He's all the way up the track into the wall. He's losing some spots. But that keeps us enough momentum where we can full throttle and stay right behind Hosevar. And we got a big run here on the exit of four. Going to go for a second. We dive to the bottom underneath Carson Hosevar. And to the line. We're going to come up. We're going to throw a huge block for a second coming to the line. We'll see if that block is successful. As we came up the racetrack and... You'll see what happens right here. We, uh, we try to get a good angle of it. As we come here, we throw a huge block and Hosevar completely crashes as he takes a line. Hosevar gets completely destroyed at the end of the stage. Goes crashing through the infield. Um, almost identical to what happened to Austin Dillon in the 2021 Michigan Cup race. Where he got crashed in the wall at the end of stage 2 by Brad Keselowski. And ruined his playoff hopes last season. And now here he crashes hard at the end of the stage and gets hit by the 18 of Corey Heim. Almost, he goes in the air, airborne. But just a bad block by myself on the three of Hosevar, and he pays the price by getting absolutely destroyed right here. Bang! So a mistake on my part. Thought I was clear. I wasn't on Hosevar, but we do take second position to nine points. As Harrison Burton will sweep the stages at Michigan and gets some some much needed points here as he's running that playoff cut line. Now on the restart of the final stage, we are alongside the 20 of Burton. And in the corner, we're going to try to clear him here into turn one. We're going to make this a little bit too much contact. Burton's going to go sideways. He's going to spin into the pack and send the Nemitz check around. And the caution's going to come out here as Harrison Burton spins with his teammate Nemitz check. And that really is going to derail his good run he was having today. Now on to lap 36, 15 to go in this race. We're trying to hold off Eric Jones and Ryan Priest for the race lead into turn three and four. We have the lead for the moment. But we're getting heavy pressured from these guys. Next to four. We still maintain the lead. Come through start finish lines. We have clearance on Byron and Jones. They're side by side for a second behind us. And you see back there Kyle Larson. He's made his way back up. Larson's the third car on the inside lane uh, behind us. So that's concerning. As we know what's been going on between us two today. And it's not been pleasant. And so now down the back stretch, we're trying to throw a block. We're side drafting on the 43 of Eric Jones. Can't quite do the side drafting right. And so now the X to the corner. Myself and Jones are going to be side by side down the back stretch. Me trying to side draft him as hard as I can.
see right there. We try to side Jones, make a little bit of contact, just a little bit of contact. Big time side drops and Gregson giving us a big shove. We lift in the corner so we can cross over Eric Jones here in the bottom and that works. We make a little bit of contact. He holds on. Oh, now here comes Larson once again. Larson shoots right back to our bumper here at Michigan. And now we're three by three for the lead here out of four coming down the front stretch here at Michigan. What a battle. Myself, Gregson Jones, three wide at the line. If that was the finish, that would have been incredible. Kyle Larson shoving us clear of the 47 of Gregson into turn one and two here. But he shoves us up the racetrack out of our line. He continues to shove us like he was doing before. So Larson continuing to be a little bit of a nudge here in the late stages of this race here by just shoving us as hard as he can in the corners to try to get us out of the way. And right here he's going to make contact with us and he's going to send us up the racetrack into Noah Gregson. We're both going to go in the wall. So once again, Kyle Larson puts us in the wall fighting for the lead. I don't know what's up with this guy today. Larson is just not himself today. So you know, right there he just gave us the bumper, sent us up the track and myself and Noah Gregson into the wall. So that's a mistake there by Kyle Larson as um, it's going to cost him later in the race. It's going to cost him later in the race. And maybe next race as well. We're going to keep that in mind now. We're going to be targeting Kyle Larson. As the way he drove here at Michigan. Not going to earn him any favors on my part. He's starting to drive a little bit more like Ross Chastain than we would like here in the Cup Series. As we move by Cole Custer there. But now we're still back to fifth place. Daniel Suarez blows the tire. He's crashing behind us. And the caution is out. Uh, unfortunate for Suarez. And we're seeing a quick little angle here of uh, us going for the lead on lap 37. And then... Larson putting us in the wall and then Suarez having his issue. See right there, Suarez blows the tire next to the corner, goes spinning all along the infield, but still brings out the caution flag here at Michigan. With just 13 to go in this race, this really opens up the strategy where it's going to be tight to see who can make it on fuel and who can't. So right there we go by Kyle Larson as we put him in the wall right there on that 45. We just absolutely fenced Kyle Larson for the lead as he'd gone ahead of us. We chased him back down, fenced him because we were frustrated the way he had raced us. Putting us in the wall so many times. So uh, we gave him peace of mind right there. Just used him up, put Larson in the fence, show him our frustration. And so Larson gets the reserves for now. But we're, still, we're not going to completely ruin his race. He's still going to get a top five finish. Right on lap 50, we take the lead from the 41 of Suarez who had stayed out long enough but just came down pit road to refuel. And we go by him to take the lead here in the last lap. And now we're going to get a full view of this last lap of the race here. Swords coming out of the pits. And we completely blast right by him here as he tries to merge on the track. And we take the lead. But William Byron's in second. And William Byron has been catching us here. I'm worried that he might catch us out of turn four here. And it's going to be a drag race to the line. But uh, down the back stretch here, we are comfortably leading the way. It looks like we got this race under control. But still Byron closing in so I'm concerned about the 24 he might beat us here and as we go down the back just the caution is going to come out here and declare the race official and over is a caution this race for reasons I don't know because I, I couldn't catch in the replay but I have no idea why the caution came out in the last lap but the caution came out in the last lap and we are declared your and now here at Michigan we are in victory lane to celebrate with the crew Now fast lap of the race, we go to Kyle Larson, the 38.214. And Kyle Larson, also the most upsetting 13 laps, even though we had lots of contact today between ourselves. And then on the move is going to be Ty Gibbs from last to sixth, up 34 spots here at Michigan. Impressive drive from Ty Gibbs. And the top break, we go to Harrison Burton, who started third, finished 36. Here are your top 10. Myself, your winner. Byron runner up, Larson third, Suarez fourth, Gregson fifth, Ty Gibbs sixth, Nemechek seventh, Jones eighth, Custer ninth, and somehow Christopher Bell after flipping rounds out your top ten. Here is eleventh through twentieth. Bowman, Bain, Reddick, Rala, Priest, Briscoe, Hoxor, Haley, Awuji, and Blaney. Then Chastain, Rhodes, Creed, Heim, Hill, Bradinger, Ty Dillon, Majeski, Logano, and Chandler Smith, twenty-first through thirtieth. Then your bottom ten, you got Bubba, Cody Ware, Garrett Smith, Lee, Corey LaJoy, Todd Gillen, Harrison Burton, Zane Smith, Haley Deegan, Chase Elliott, and Austin Sindrick, thirty-sixth through fortieth. Tough finishes for all those guys who are right near that playoff cut line. We had to see the battle.
Now, after this conflict with Larson, we're going to win the point stand. Of course, we win once again. And now, here are the standings. 23 wins for ourselves. Larson clinched playoff spot on points. Nemechek, Priest, Rhodes, Byron, Zane Smith, Ty Gibbs, Chastain, Suarez, Reddick, Bowman, Hosevar, Heim, Deegan, and Gregson in the playoffs on points at the moment. Harrison Burton out by 11. Custer out by 28. Jones by 30. Briscoe by 30. And Trevor Bain by 40. And now with just three races in the playoffs, we look at the um, storylines heading with three races to go until the Cup Series playoffs begins. We extend our winning streak to 58 races. Deegan, Griggs, and Harrison Burton are involved in a tight battle of the cut line with only 26 points between the three of them. Chase Elliott, three races, remains 94 points out of the playoffs and 25th. And Penske, Cindric, and Logano have been eliminated from playoff contention. And Blaney is 24th minus 88 to the playoffs. Until next time, I hope you all have a good one.